Now this one's the real eye opener. For the simple fact that I was one of those people who used to drink a lot of alcohol. Used to love partying, used to go out, drink, chase women, pick women up. Something that I was actually very good at, but something that I'm not proud of now. Because the simple fact was, is there was something missing in my life. And I was filling this void with alcohol, sex, and all these other haram things. Now, one night when I was out with a group of my friends, I was sitting inside a pub. It was very busy. And I was looking around at all these other people inside the pub. And I was listening to some of the conversations that would go on around me. And this is when I really started to think, you know, maybe the Muslims were right. Maybe they were right about staying away from alcohol and drugs and promiscuity and all these other sins that are very haram. Because I started hearing conversations, you know, there was one woman who was turning around, bending over, showing a butt to her friends and her friends were clapping, saying, yeah, girl, get your slut on. And I was just disgusted by it. I didn't find it attractive. I thought to myself, that is the last woman I'd ever want to be in a relationship with or marry anything like that who acts like that. And then what really set it off for me was when a good friend of mine come up to me. He looked really depressed. He looked like he'd been drinking a lot lately. He'd lost a lot of weight. He looked terrible. And he was telling me that he just moved back to town and that the man he was working for, his boss, he goes, well, me and my girlfriend are split up. And I asked him what happened. And he goes, my boss was having sex. My work boss was having sex with my girlfriend. My girlfriend was cheating on me with my boss. He goes, so I left that job. He goes, not only did I lose my job over it, but I lost my girlfriend over it. And these are the sort of things that these kufar will do to each other, what these non-Muslims will do to each other, the betrayal, the the drug abuse, the, the, the filth, the putrid ways that they act. And I just sat there and I started looking around and I was like, look who I am surrounding myself with. Look at the things that are happening around me in this society. Maybe the Muslims are right. So that's when I really started investigating into Islam. I'm like, what is it that keeps their people under such good moral conduct compared to anyone in the West?